Good morning everyone. We students of Divine Jal Secondary School welcome you to our school. We all kids are rushing because today is a very special science day. Come on, let's take a closer look into it. Good morning everyone. I am Anisha and today I am going to be telling you about the importance of science. Equipped with his five senses, man explores the universe around him and calls the adventure science. These are the words once quoted by Edwin Powell Hubble. And indeed, science was, is and will continue to be one epic adventure. What is science? Well, it's nothing but trained and organized common sense. And I don't think Thomas Huxley would disagree because these are the very words that he had once quoted. Surprisingly, there's not much difference between science and a tree. How? Well, a tree without carbon dioxide, water and sunlight is a cipher. Likewise, science without imagination Innovation and creativity is just like a non-entity. Have you noticed that the word science itself tells us a lot about what exactly the subject is? Yes, because if you were to break this word down letter by letter, then you would realize that it forms an acronym. In my opinion, the word S-C-I-E-N-C-E -E stands for Spectacularly Creative innovations explaining conceptual entities. That's what science is. And as you can notice, the word itself reveals a lot of information about the subject, but in a very cryptic kind of way. But if you go to see, then science itself is one colossal crypt. And the only way to decrypt this is by unleashing your creative minds, by unraveling your imagination and by unbottling ingenious ideas. Hey, wait a moment. Do you think that science is mind-boggling? No, that's not true. In fact, in Einstein's very true words, science is nothing but a refinement of everyday thinking. Hmm, I think I'm getting too philosophical. Okay, let me explain the importance of science to you with the help of a few examples. Almost all of us know how fire was discovered. Yes, early man who lived in the Stone Age had observed that sometimes when lightning struck the tall trees in forests, a fire was created and sometimes these fires could escalate to devastating infernos. Later, early man also observed that sometimes when rubbing two stones together, a fire could also be created. I cannot deny that when prehistoric humans were experimenting with fire, they must have burnt and blistered their hands a considerable number of times. But gradually, prehistoric humans started learning that fire could be put to good use. And then they started consistently using it. And now, after so much of evolution, development and growth in the 21st century, all of us know that when two objects are rubbed against each other, it is the friction that is caused between them that causes a fire or a flame to ignite. And now, in this 21st century, we find that we conveniently and extensively use gas stoves to cook and heat our food and for various other purposes. Even in labs, for lab experiments, buns and burners are quite common. And what's more, now that we have devised various methods of generating electricity, you will find that in several households, appliances like OTGs, microwaves, geysers and induction stoves are used to produce heat using electricity. The importance of science cannot be explained just by one sole single example. Do you know from where the number zero came? Yes. Aryabhat invented it. Now, I have to agree, none of us feel too happy or pleased when we see this number on our mark sheets because it indicates that we haven't scored anything. But even though zero will not make us too happy when we see it on our mark sheets, it is of utmost importance. Do you know why? Well, one of the reasons is that if zero wouldn't have existed, then we wouldn't have had the number 100 
and if we won't have the number 100 then we'll never be able to score 100 percent marks in our exam and get a nice very good from teacher right so though in mathematics or arithmetic zero has no value at all still in everyday life or in real life zero has a great value but you must be wondering why am i going on about math when two minutes ago i was jabbering away about science well that's because math is a part of science or you can say science is a part of math yes both of them are connected to each other well if you're thinking that science is just one particular subject or it's all about just one thing then you're wrong there because science is not just one thing it's made up of a variety of different branches and some of them are biology chemistry physics computer science astronomy paleontology geography etc all of these branches or fields are intertwined or interconnected with each other even the video games that we stay glued to 24 by no no even the video games that we stay glued to 24 by 7 use graphics and animation which are also a part of science have you ever wondered what would happen if science were not there give it a thought okay now just imagine if the covid-19 pandemic arose and science would never have existed then what would have happened that is unimaginable because without science we would never have been able to invent the covid-19 vaccination and save lives in the same way if it would not have been for science then smartphones would never have existed can you imagine that radium which can also cause cancer is also a cure to cancer so if it wouldn't have been invented then people would never have known about it and lastly if it were not for science then we would have to rely on letters to communicate with each other in that way the people on the earth would become so distant from each other right so in a nutshell from the invention of the wheel to the invention of the tesla coil without science humans and humanity has no foundation at all there are uncountable scientists inventors and philosophers who with their astounding discoveries and inventions have taken our development to an unsurpassing and unimaginable level all the great and famous scientists that we have heard about be it abdul kalam galileo galilei thomas edison albert einstein isaac newton or mary curie all of these people have achieved such great accomplishments only and only because of a little bit of common sense and their zeal and inquisitiveness to delve into the untold having a scientific mind doesn't mean even for a second that you need to have some humongously sized brains from birth itself no not at all all you need is a little bit of zeal a pinch of observation and your own big fat room of imagination and creativity i would like to tell you a thing and that is that to invent something new or to come up with something that no one has ever come up with before you don't need a smartphone or the internet all you need is your own creative mind but before i end my speech i want to tell you a secret but this will be only between you and me okay did you know science and the corona virus are distant relatives how well just like the corona virus science is also extremely contagious it passes very swiftly from person to person so you need to get your science test done and there's a good news regardless of whether you're science positive or science negative you will have the science virus inside you all you have to do is look for it oh wait let me assure you this science virus is a good virus thank you science is magic good morning everyone let's begin the day with your favorite subject science it is the most important challenge of knowledge it has a specific role as well as a variety of functions for the benefit of our society creating new knowledge improving education and increasing to the social needs and global challenges 
Science is involved in everything. Life is unimaginable without science. Hmm, science is interesting. Today, 28th of February, as we commemorate the birth anniversary of Dr. C. V. Raman, which is also known as National Science Day, we have lots of fun for you. So don't go away. Let's have fun. Good morning, everyone. Today, I have brought a very interesting topic for you all, which is about science and superstitions. When we talk about science and superstitions, it appears as though we are trying to put two concepts together. Yes, superstitions are self-imposed selfish beliefs that are something imaginary. These beliefs can be related to religious culture or personal values. When a person wins or loses the task, they do not take the blame on them. Rather, they try to control and blame the surroundings or the external factors. So there comes a superstition. But on the other hand, science is believed to be realistic. It is the knowledge gained through observation and experiment as facts or principles. Either science or superstitions are made for humans. That is, sometimes there is a fact behind superstition. For example, lizards falling on human is bad luck. I mean, it is said to be a bad luck. But the scientific reason behind this is that the lizard releases poisonous chemicals from its body in order to protect themselves from enemies. And if it falls on humans or food, it is bound to contaminate it. So taking bath is good. And here comes an act by the Divine Child CBSE students to broadcast the scientific facts behind some superstitions. Thank you. आप सब मेरे दरबार में आए तो मतलब आप सबको कोई तो समस्या होगी ना बाबा मेरी सुनो नहीं बाबा मेरी सुनो नहीं शांत हो जाओ शांत हो जाओ सब का टाइम आएगा अपना टाइम आएगा अपना टाइम आएगा हम्म तुम बताओ बालक बाबा कल रात मुझे नींद नहीं आ रही थी मेरे घर के आंगन में एक बड़ा सा पीपल का पेड़ है उसके नीचे मैं सो गया मुझे सांस लेने में तकलीफ हो रही थी मानो कि कोई आत्मा ही मेरे पीछे पड़ गई हो अरे तू तो कुछ दिन पहले वो अंतिम संस्कार के लिए गया था ना हाँ आपके नहाया नहीं नहीं बस और क्या वही आत्मा तेरी पीछे पड़ी है बाबा मेरे बेटे ने प्रतियोगिता में भाग ली लेकिन इसमें उसका कभी साथ नहीं देती क्या तूने उसे दही शक्कर नहीं खिलाया था बालिका नहीं बाबा आगे इसे दही शक्कर खिलाकर बेच देना तो किस्मत हमेशा साथ देगी अभी मैं चेक करूंगा कि कौन कितना पापी है हाथ जलाल तू हाथ जलाल तू शिव शंभू शिव शंभू तूने तो बहुत पाप किए हैं अगर तुमने इतने पाप नहीं किए होते तो मेरे मंत्र से तुम्हें दिया हुआ शरबत इस रंग का नहीं होता अरे बाप रे मुझे मेरे पापों का पश्चाताप हो रहा है मैं क्या करूं बाबा आओ इधर आओ अभी मैंने तुझे सारे पाप मिटा दिए हैं पर बुरी शक्ति तुम्हें पाप करने करने पर मजबूर करेगी इसलिए मेरे मंत्र का नींबू और मिर्ची ले लो और अपने घर के बाहर रखो योगी मिजोवर बाबा योगी मिजोवर योगी बाबा वी आर हियर टू शो यू how these zombies are fooling all these innocent people. 
मैं रिपोर्टर अथर रिपोर्टर फ्रिया और कैमरामैन निशान के साथ आ चुका हूँ ढोंगी बाबा का पर्दाफाश करने वो भी आपकी फेवरेट शो साइंस ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन आरोप टूडे वी हैव गैदर टीम ऑफ साइंटिस्ट फ्रॉम हार्वर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी ऐसे कैसे उम्र मैंने क्या किया हमारे बाबा कर्म क्या नहीं है हमसे झूठ नहीं बोलेंगे तो साइंटिस्ट जी क्या मुझे बता सकते हो कि ये बाबा किले के आसन पर कैसे बैठ सकते हैं दिस इज बिकॉज इन बाबा आसन ऑल द नेल्स आर टूगेदर एंड द नेल्स हैव डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड द फोर्स अमंग दम सेल्स विच डिक्रीजेज द प्रेशर दिस इज बिकॉज द फोर्स एंड द प्रेशर ऑफ मेनी नेल्स टूगेदर इज लेस दैन द फोर्स एंड द प्रेशर ऑफ वन नेल टेल and that is why the asan is not able to pierce or hurt baba tum mujhse panga lenge oh so now scientists can you tell me why the baba suggested the devotees to have sugar and curd before any competition oh yes about that the tropical climate of india suggested it curd to get a cooling effect in your stomach large amounts of sugar is given to anybody going for an important job as it provides instant energy in the form of glucose This mixture is together, energy providing and refreshing. Hence, it is linked with good luck. And why should anybody take a shower after attending a funeral? Oh, our ancestors did not have any cure for smallpox disease, etc. Therefore, we came up with a set of rituals of taking bath after coming from the funeral, so that the dead bodies do not transfer any diseases to us. We advise not to sleep at night under a tree because at night trees release carbon dioxide which can harm us. Our body expels carbon dioxide because it is a waste and if we inhale carbon dioxide in huge amounts we may fall unconscious. Scientists can you tell me the reason behind the flower coming out of the coconut? Yes, how about that? The baba put the flower seed in the coconut so the cells present in it in the night. In the morning, the flower bloomed and came out when the coconut was broken into half. So scientists, I have heard a lot of people say that putting limbu and mirchi on cars, stores, etc. keeps the evil spirits away. Is that true? No, 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 no. Science does not believe in anything like evil spirits. Limbu and mirchi are both rich in vitamin C, and then they are pierced with a cotton thread. This juice is then spread out through the environment. This keeps the mosquitoes and flies away. Therefore, we see this hanging in shops, on cars, etc. And how did the khandani kokam sherbat turn here? Oh, actually, it's very easy. Actually, it was not the khandani kokam sherbat, but basic water. Lemon contains citric acid, which changes the basic nature of the kokam water and neutralizes the effect of the base in it. Here, I'll show you. So you see, this was the actual khandani kokam sherbat, and after I added the citric acid, how it changed by. All the secrets of the dhoni baba are revealed. I request all of you not to get trapped by these dhonis. All for today. Take care and goodbye. Stay tuned for more updates from Science Twenty Four Seven. Reporter Athar signing off. Reporter Priya signing off. generates solution for everyday life and helps us to unlock the great mysteries of this universe in other words science is the most important channels of knowledge it has a specific role as well as a variety of functions to serve for our society improving education increasing the quality of our lives and creating new knowledge it is the greatest collective endeavor it contributes in ensuring a longer and healthier life it is also everywhere no matter where you look at up down left to right there's always something or the other that's related to science and it's there even if you don't think it is japan is an incredible incredibly technologically advanced nation visiting the fair isles is like taking a time machine to the future On sixth August, nineteen forty-seven, science was used for destruction. 
atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki killed approximately 2 million people. 70% of the buildings were destroyed, along with increased rates of cancer and chronic diseases. But now, with using the same signs for construction rather than destruction, it became the th third largest economy worldwide. It ranks first in innovative rankings and fifth in overall best country. So friends, rather than using science for destruction and cause misery, why not use it for construction and do wonders? Thank you. A very good morning to everyone. I'm sure we all know the history of Science Day and why we celebrate it on 20th February every year. To add extra feather to this celebration, this year, management has decided to give a reward to the student who demonstrate intense level of curiosity in science and comprehend abstract concepts beyond age level expectations. This year, we are presenting this award to Anisha Vadesari from grade 7. Anisha, you being a part of Science Club, have amazed us every time with your imaginative and creative ideas. We loved all your contributions to our projects and think you are a unique and extremely talented person. You have tons of potential and eager to learn and I'm sure you will have a wonderful future ahead of you. Students, let's have a look at some of the outstanding projects done by Anisha Vadesari during year 2021-22 under Science Club. our principal sister Kavita to present a memento to Anisha for her exceptional performance. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our principal sister Kavita for giving us an opportunity to organize this event. I would also like to thank all the participant students and in charge teachers for their valuable contribution and making this event a memorable one.